Even the Finger Lakes region reached phase two of reopening today, but not in time for businesses there to open for a full day. That region includes several counties adjacent to the western region, which of course is still in phase one, as you just heard. More now from Channel 2's Dave McKinley. Things had reached phase one of reopening two weeks ago. There'd been a lot of anticipation in the Finger Lakes region about this day, when many presumed they would wake up to day one of phase two. It's hard not to anticipate when it's been two weeks and everybody in this region has been following the metrics, and, and the metrics have been good. But last night, the governor surprised many by insisting an additional review of the metrics had to be made. To the president of the Genesee County Chamber of Commerce, it was a shock. And I know I have a lot of frustrated businesses calling me and saying, what's, what's the deal? Adding to the frustration, the state had yet to produce guidelines for phase two reopening. They're chomping at the bit and ready to get going. Uh, they, they just want the guidance. This afternoon, just hours after the state finally put out those guidelines, the governor then reversed course again and declared this area has now reached phase two. So as opposed to the nearby western region, which is still stuck in phase one, instead of just curbside pickup, stores here can again invite shoppers inside, albeit with limited occupancy, social distancing, and the wearing of face coverings. You can also legally get a haircut out here again. This is, I think, we've anticipated the greatest amount of change in phase two because you get into the retail, you get into real estate, and a lot of the other fa phases, a lot of other businesses that haven't been able to open yet. But with it being more than two months since they've been able to do so, it raises another question, not only about these businesses being allowed to reopen, but also those awaiting subsequent phases when they will be allowed to follow, if they can. How many businesses affiliated with your group do you figure will never reopen. I haven't heard a lot that have said they're not going to make it yet, but I'm sure there's some that are, are that are borderline and we're hoping that uh, they can make it through. But yeah, I'm sure there will be some businesses that never open again and that's that's sad. In Batavia, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.